recording it. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to LAEDC's Together for LA Recovery and Resilience Resources webinar. We're going to give it a couple minutes for people to log in before we get started with our program. Good morning, everyone. Thank you to everyone that is still joining us. Welcome to the Los Angeles County Economic Development Corporation's Together for LA Recovery and Resilience Resources webinar. We are very happy to have you all join us this morning for a very inform informative webinar this morning. We have a full agenda for you on small business resources and programs that are available for you to take advantage of. I am Angela Amerkanian, LAEDC Program Manager and today's webinar moderator. I would like to introduce Jessica Ku Kim to start us off with information about LAEDC and our technical assistance business resources and programs that are available for you. As Vice President of Economic and Workforce development, Jessica Kupim provides strategic direction and leads LAEDC's collaborative efforts with business, education, and the workforce ecosystem to support a growing, equitable, sustainable, and resilient economy. Joining us to share more information about LAEDC and our technical assistance business programs is Jessica Kupim. Thank you, Angela. Welcome everyone to today's webinar and a series of webinars around Together for LA focused on our small businesses, especially those that are owned by women and um, people of color. LAEDC as a nonprofit, our mission is to reinvent our economy to collaboratively advance growth and prosperity for all. So we want an inclusive economy. We want one that is growing equitable, sustainable, and resilient. And a big part of that mission is to also support our business community here in LA County. Next slide. Simply reopening our economy does not equate to a full recovery of small businesses and jobs lost to the pandemic. We absolutely know that we need to focus on those most impacted by the economic impacts from COVID. And so we will start starting today and do bi-monthly webinars that'll focus on technical assistance for our small businesses. Next slide. And so with that, the Together for LA partnership was formed and we have multiple partners at the table, including the Local Initiative Support Corporation Los Angeles, also known as LISC LA, our Los Angeles Area Chamber of Commerce, the Dr. Lucy Jones Center for Science and Society, the Institute for Sustainable Development, as well as the LA County and LA City Economic and Workforce teams. Um, we absolutely know it's important to provide no cost assistance and support to women and diverse owned small businesses. And we are so appreciative of Wells Fargo for supporting this coalition to come together and focus on delivering much needed services and providing that one-on-one -on -one technical assistance. So welcome to the Together for LA initiative, and we hope that you'll be along with us for the upcoming year as we consistently deliver information, provide technical assistance as a whole coalition of partners. Next slide. As a part of the technical assistance, so today we are going to cover what is currently available, especially as our businesses are reopening. But we also know that there are many, many other challenges. And so everything from workforce assistance, permitting, 
tax incentives, utility programs, um, anything that you may need as you reopen, as you look to grow your business. We have one-on-one -on -one technical assistance providers who can work with you to address your needs and support you, especially as you apply for all of these grant and loan um, and additional free work resources. Next slide. And so we, we will share this deck with you afterwards, um, but it just gets into the nuts and bolts of what type of services are available from energy efficiencies to on the job training, to leveraging dollars, to retain your workforce, to upskill your workforce, to looking at the competitive landscape that you're in, to reducing your risk, workers' compensation, SBA loans, um, as you also look to expand your business. So we want to support your ability to thrive here, to grow here, to stay here. And of course, we want more and more businesses to also come here to LA County. Next slide. So we have a whole team of individuals that are available and we're only growing our team. And so there is the contact information for folks here. We will also share at the end a form that you can submit and one of our team members will reach out to you. And again, we have a website, leudc.org backslash coronavirus, as well as a form on that page where you can directly request it. So I highly recommend whatever your business need is, we want to see our small businesses stay here and thrive. And so if you have questions, if you need a second opinion, if you're not understanding a grant application, if you're trying to grow your company and you're having permitting issues, whatever it may be, we have a whole coalition of partners through our Together for LA partnership to support you. So I'll turn it back over to you, Angela. Thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you for that great introduction. Once again, the website to please jot down, which is a resource hub of business resources and financial opportunities and programs to take advantage of. So that website, once again, is laedc.org slash coronavirus. All of the information and the programs that we are sharing today are also available on the website. In fact, there's further details on each program as well as links on how to apply. There will be a Q&A session. So if anyone has any questions, kindly hold them to the end and we will address them towards the end of the program. Next, I would like to introduce two of my wonderful colleagues, Bob and Lyndon. Um, they are both heavily involved in assisting businesses with our one-on-one -on -one free um, assistance and support that is available to all businesses available on this webinar today. So I'd like to introduce Bob Machuca and Lyndon Johnson, who will give you a deeper dive into some of the programs and financial opportunities that we would like to share with you this morning. So please welcome Bob Machuca and Lyndon Johnson. Thank you, Angela. I'll take it from here. And good morning, everybody, and welcome uh, to uh, this morning's webinar and really for taking your time to spend this hour with us for this uh, a very informative format of information. And I, I want to say, um, uh, next screen, please. You know, we are here really to assist businesses and if you notice the logo behind me, we are promoting Safer at Work. And, and before I get into this, you know, as, as uh, uh, Jessica said, this Together in LA provides a variety of programs. And uh, you can find those programs on our website, which you'll see in the chat box. But what we want to do now, we don't in this hour, we can't go over every program, but we really want to address some of the more important ones that are really going to make us not only a return to normalcy, it's beyond that. We're looking to build a stronger, more efficient, better, more resilient economy. But we need to work on certain strategic programs to help us get there. One of them here, and you'll see in the logo all behind us, is the Safer at Work Los Angeles. You know, even though the governor has announced that the California reopening June the 15th, we are still not out of the woods. You know, we see it in the news, you know, we're, we're, we still haven't reached herd immunity. LA County Public Health says that we need to be at about 80% of vaccination rates for really to have community uh, immunity. We are only about 67%. In fact, there's some uh, areas, the, the black community, 
is only about the 43% of vaccination rate and the Latinx is about the 53. So we still have a lot ways to go. So it's very important that we promote these safer at work programs. Next screen, please. At the uh, website, you can download, you'll see the website here and we have it in our connectory. We are providing free to you, to businesses, a variety of uh, posters and displays and, and printouts and you could in different languages and all variety of languages here spoken in Los Angeles County. You can download these uh, brochures and customize them, put your company name on them and you can post them on your windows or post them within the building. Again, encouraging really safer at work practices. Another program we have is a PPE, the personal protection equipment. The county is providing free, again, free uh, face masks, uh, and, and personal protection equipment for businesses. You can find this all in our website. Again, very good program. And we are promoting this. And again, very important that we continue to follow safer at work practices. Uh, next slide, please. And one other program Illy, that we really helped work with the county is the mobile vaccine clinic. Uh, in my area, I, I, as well as my colleagues, we noticed that during the pandemic that a lot of businesses uh, had a lot of employees who were not vaccinated. And the point being, a lot of uh, employees were just not aware of where to go or they weren't able to navigate the, the internet or they did not have internet access, which is another issue. So what we did was work with the county to establish mobile vaccine units where they take the vaccines to the business. Uh, the eligibility would be if you're a business that has 10 or more employees, you could arrange to have this vaccination clinic visit you. And we were able to get more businesses, more employees at businesses vaccinated. So it's a great program. It continues today. You can find this on our website. If you're a business that has under uh, 10 employees, uh, you could find that uh, we have links to the LA County Health Department where they have certain sites where you can go. But again, very important. And again, this whole idea is to help get more people vaccinated because again, that's the only way we're gonna reach herd immunity and we'll be safer in the long run. And also, you know, these programs are good for other programs, uh, other, you know, the flu epidemic, other uh, things that come up in the future. So again, all these safety measures are here to help our economy grow. Next slide, please. Um, you know, one of the other many uh, programs that we have is the, um, is the Shuttered Venue Operators Grant. This is a new program that started a, um, April of 26. And again, this funds uh, uh, um, entertainment venues like theaters, live performing uh, organizations, operators, museum operators, uh, which we have many here uh, in Los Angeles County. And here's a specific program catered to these businesses to help businesses recover uh, with grants. And again, these grants are at no, you don't have to repay them. And again, uh, if you continue to check our, our, our site or the LAEDC site, uh, there's a variety of other grants that are going to become, may become available for different types of uh, industries. So very important. So I just wanted to share this one with you. Thank you. Next, next slide, please. Again, recognizing that a lot of uh, underserved and businesses uh, were hard hit due to COVID-19, uh, California came up with a rebuilding loan fund. Again, there are a variety of them. Um, they call them CDFIs, there's about 12 in the state, uh, community financial uh, organizations that really are positioned to really help those businesses that have fewer than 50 employees and they really have suffered the, the devastation from COVID-19, the loss of revenues, for example, loss of employees that have been hard hit. And here's an opportunity to apply for these grants that will really help you build up uh, your business. Uh, again, these uh, would be available to businesses that have lost 30% of revenue uh, compared to a similar period in, in 2019. So again, the point being that uh, this Together in LA program has a variety of programs for our small businesses, especially our minority businesses, our women-owned businesses, our businesses, uh, people of color. There's all these programs, and this is, just touches <laughs> the tip of a lot of programs that are available and new programs that will be coming on board. Uh, I think that's it for me. I'll turn it back over to Angela. Thank you, Angela. Oh, you're on mute. Thank you so much, Bob. I will go ahead and have Lyndon take it from here. Thank you so much, Angela. And thank you so much, Bob. And thank all of you for attending today. We know how important your time is and we appreciate you spending your time with us today to learn about these amazing programs that are out there to assist you. 
So I wanted to talk about the SBA Economic Injury Disaster Loan, which is a program that's been around for a little bit, but continues to be a great support for business owners out there. Um, the maximum loan amount is up to $500,000 for businesses that uh, get approved beginning April 6th. And it's available to all business owners um, and qualified agricultural businesses here in the United States. Um, an agricultural business with 500 or fewer employees are now eligible to apply as well. It's an amazing opportunity to get assistance um, if you've had um, any sort of economic impact due to COVID-19. Next slide, please. And another amazing program that's been around for a little bit is a Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Businesses Program. And what it is, is Goldman Sachs has partnered with local colleges to help provide um, assistance to entrepreneurs. And this program is really an investment to help entrepreneurs create jobs, economic opportunity by providing access to education, capital, and business support. Um, there have been over 10,000 businesses that have, that have taken part in this program, and all of them have found it to be very um, successful. A lot of them actually end up doing business with one another. And eligibility for this program is um, applicants must be an owner or co-owner of a business. Uh, you must be in operation for at least two years, have revenues of at least 150,000 in the most fiscal year and have at least four employees, including the owner. So every month, um, all applications are due on the 15th and by 5 p.m. I definitely encourage everyone, you know, they say if you're passionate about your business growing, creating jobs in the community and really just taking your business to the next level, this is an amazing program for you. And if you're accepted, uh, program tuition is at no cost to you. Next slide, please. And here's another amazing program, the Amazon Black Accelerator Program. Um, this is um, obviously put together by Amazon and it's dedicating, dedicated to help building sustainable equity and growth for black entrepreneurs by enabling them to become successful sellers on the Amazon platform. In order to be eligible, you have to be registered as a certified owned black business. Um, there's many ways you can do that through the SBA. Uh, there's other organizations that can help you become certified. If you need any assistance with that, please visit our website at laedc.org slash coronavirus. And one of us will be happy to assist you in becoming certified as a minority owned business or a women owned business as well. There are many opportunities come that come with being certified. So I would definitely encourage all of you that are eligible to definitely do so. And this program is great. They actually have a ways in which they support you through, again, through education, uh, marketing assistance. There's different grants and programs that they have, but they actually have one for $10,000, which is starting to accept applications on July 1st through July 29th, and awards will be announced on September 2nd. So I encourage everyone, please, for any questions you have, please, again, visit our website, and one of us will be happy to help assist you with with this process. Um, next slide, please. And our financial navigators program. This is an amazing uh, resource uh, put together by our Los Angeles County Department of Consumer and Business Affairs, our DCBA. Um, there it's an opportunity for business owners as well as residents to sign up and kind of and do an intake form. And it's a 30 to one hour call in which you'll talk to a financial navigator and they will help you, you know, navigate whatever issues you're facing now, whether that's priori prioritizing your payments, maximizing your income, managing debt, coming into um, access with other programs that are offered, um, as well as to avoid a scam. If you get something and you're not sure about it, please feel free to reach out to them. They're definitely an amazing resource for you. And like my colleagues are saying, there's many other resources that are available and many of them become available. So we encourage you to please, you know, visit our website and also to um, Angela later today, we'll put in a, a link to an intake form where you can register to have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with uh, one of us. And we'll definitely be happy to let you know about these programs or any questions you may have and, and let you know about upcoming programs as well. So again, thank you guys so much for your time. We appreciate uh, you spending it with us. And Angela, I'm gonna turn it back over to you. Thank you so much, Lyndon, and thank you, Bob, for introducing these great programs to our viewers this morning. Um, these are only a few of the resources that are available to you. We are continuously being um, informed about new grants, industry-specific grants, 
um, that are coming up for businesses to take advantage of, as well as programs and additional resources. So on a daily basis, we're updating our website with new information as we receive them. I would next like to introduce our very special speaker this morning, Layla Lee, Associate Director, Community Business with the uh, City of Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti's Office of Economic Development. After gaining experience working for the Los Angeles County Board, Board of Supervisors and Los Angeles City Council, Layla started and operated several retail businesses in the food and beauty industries, as well as national and international businesses in fashion, wholesale, e-commerce, and children's accessories. As Community Business Associate Director, she aims to assist current and aspiring business owners achieve success through policies and programs that support their growth. Please welcome Layla Lee. Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, thank you so much, Angela and LEDC for hosting this and inviting me uh, for this really important webinar and for your partnership throughout the year um, and particularly during the pandemic. So yeah, my name is Layla Lee. I'm so happy to be here with you. And uh, while there's a myriad of resources available at the city of Los Angeles, um, today I'd like to introduce you to a, a program that was launched by the mayor to help businesses recover and mitigate future risks by um, adapting to the digital marketplace. Um, next slide, please. So this program that I'm specifically speaking about today is LA Optimized. Um, the aim behind LA Optimized, as many of the mayor's initiatives, is really to ensure economic recovery and equity. Uh, the goal is to make sense of the digital marketplace that can often feel overwhelming and provide businesses with hand-holding curated and access to experts from nonprofit and corporate partners. Um, so there are five, five key services that the program provides, which I'll go into further um, in the, later in the presentation. But uh, number one, we create and optimize online business listings. Two, we create our optimized business websites. Uh, three, we perform e-commerce audits of each business. Four, we connect businesses to LA creatives. Um, and five, we have educational programming every first Tuesday of every month. And again, um, all of these services are completely free uh, of cost and, and they're here to support you, your needs. Uh, next slide, please. So what is um, creating or optimizing business listings? So business listings, um, you know, you have your Google Maps. When people Google your a business, you know, they're looking for you. And it's often say you're a business in Sherman Oaks only, for instance, you want to, any, but you can service people outside of Sherman Oaks or beyond even uh, state boundaries. One of the things you want to do is ensure that they can actually find you. Um, same thing with Facebook and Instagram and Yelp. We want to ensure that they can find you, number one, and also, you know, optimize how your position in the marketplace so for instance, if you're a restaurant and you're on Facebook, you don't want to be labeled just as a business. You want to have all the access to the tools that are specific to restaurants and that can help you um, optimize your, your online presence. And what's so great about business listings, you don't need any marketing uh, budget. You know, you don't, you really don't need even a website if you don't, you don't, if you don't uh, have one. Just having a good business listing, it really helps you increase your sales and reach to your potential customers. Next slide, please. So uh, everybody knows what a business website is. However, um, so this is a specific examples and I, I encourage you to go check it out. But for instance, uh, for example, we created, there are two types of uh, business websites that we created. One was, one was business specific site, uh, as in metagee.com, that was one entrepreneur that didn't have a website. And we decided to create a website for this uh, gentleman. And in just three months, he, he outperformed what he did in three years, just having the website. And you know, having a website is so essential and it's a, really the foundation nowadays to having a business and letting people know that you exist and what kind of services you can provide. Uh, just cold calling a lot of times, and I know this is a business owner, it never really, it never really works out, uh, but having a website that you can just refer people to uh, can speak louder, it really speaks louder than words. Uh, the second part is area-specific shared site. If you're a business owner, for instance, like in uh, over a street who, you know, you feel overwhelmed by having a website, you don't want to look into uh, managing a website, what we decided is like, hey, what if we have an area that all the business owners want to have a shared website? 
And in that website, then we can provide access to information for each shop. So that's what we did with Alvera Street. Uh, next slide, please. The third service, uh, e-commerce audit for each business. Um, an e-commerce audit is like similar to a financial audit. However, you know, it's just looking at how does your um, online presence measure up? You know, how can we improve your online sales? What are your what are the things that are really positive about your online presence? What is really negative, and where do what do you have to work on? And if you don't know what your what you need to work on, it's very difficult for a business to grow your their online sales. And so through this e-commerce audit, we also provide one on one consultations with our our, our business consultants, our tech consultants, and they can kind of provide you tools that are available to help you sell online. Um, next slide, please. This part I'm very excited about. Um, I do also have a background in um, design. And what happens for, specifically for me, it was really, uh, it was very uh, easy to sometimes open a business just because having a, um, access to creative assets it really helps you create a, a really amazing foundation for your business and connect to consumers, particularly in the digital marketplace. Um, if, you're in, if you're selling on Amazon right now, for instance, if your photos don't look as attractive, people might bypass you and go to another, another, uh, another seller. So it's really essential that you create photography or assets or whatever it is that, that your business needs to really um, stand out. Um, so some of the creative assets that we provide, and again, these are completely free through the program, we provide, um, you self-select a creative that's um, accepted to the program through the, our Los Angeles Creative Advisory Board. And in they, they provide you services and in return, the city provides them with a small grant for, for, for supporting our, our businesses. Uh, the services they, they provide include photography, as you can see on the right side, was we did for Alvera Street. Um, some of these vendors, they've never had any photos taken of their products for the last four decades. So it was a very exciting program uh, process. Um, social media fil fil filters, you know, if you're, if you're maybe your clientele is maybe a little younger clientele, so maybe a social media filter and working with our um, partners at Snapchat can help you. Copywriting, if English is not your first language, or maybe you're not just a writer, you know, um, we can connect with you to marketing experts that can help you with the copywriting for your website. Uh, graphic design assets, as you can see on the left side, um, the metagame specifically, um, they did, this is the logo, the packaging that they created for themselves through Canva, but instead we connected him to a uh, creative and the, the creative was able to um, make an entirely uh, new packaging for their, for their product. And Luckily, just is happy to say that to report as well that this Medici in particular, they had zero wholesale sales prior to this, to, to the new packaging. After the new packaging, right now they're you know they have up to ten uh, wholesaler, I believe up to ten or so, five to ten. Um, and then branding kit, branding kit just means your logo, your fonts, your colors, anything that really defines your business. Next slide, please. And in addition to that, we also have our educational programming. Uh, we do it every Tuesday of every month to help grow and market your business in the digital marketplace. Uh, we do this in partnership with uh, USC, Seoul Price School of Public Policy, uh, Center for Economic Development. And uh, July 6th, for instance, uh, we're focusing only on your digital online presence. And our partners will be Yelp, Facebook, and Google. And what this does is provide you one day where you can really access these um, experts from these companies and provide and ask them like one-on-one -on -one questions. You know, what is it that you really need to, to move your business ahead? Um, and, you know, we really welcome everyone to come to this event. It's completely free and, you know, no questions are, are not sophisticated enough. Just make sure that you ask every question you can, because, you know, it, it is um, events like this doesn't happen very often. And next slide, please. Um, and this is just uh, overall some of the financial um, opportunities that are there available. Um, the only one that I do want to talk about today is really the restaurant and small business fund. We do have the city of LA does have 50 million uh, it's pending council approval, but that's going to be available to primarily micro entrepreneurs and small businesses that need support. 
And uh, we do have set asides for restaurants as well as some um, uh, re uh, businesses from underserved communities. And I believe, next slide. And you know, one of the things that I wanna, I, I try to emphasize in every um, webinar that I come to is just, just like you saw, LADC, they have so many resources and just like them, there's so many other um, resources available throughout the city of LA and all of them are really completely free for you. So take advantage. Uh, I've seen firsthand the difference that the advantage that taking advantage of these resources make. So please um, look it up and please take advantage of all these resources as you, as you confront your economic recovery. And I believe that's it for me, correct? Yes, and that's our contact information, but um, I'll be available for questions. Thank you for having me today. Thank you so much, Layla. Thank you for that great presentation, um, especially from your entrepreneurial perspective. I think that gives us new insights and information on how important digital presence and e-commerce has been during the pandemic and that it's really here to stay. So this is such a great program for everyone to take advantage of and it's at no cost. So uh, please look into uh, LA Optimize furthermore after this presentation. And with that said, we will be moving into our Q&A session. So if anyone has any questions during this time, please go ahead and drop it into the chat box and I will address it to our group of panelists to address. And once again, we will be available after the webinar. Um, you will hear from someone from our business assistance team to uh, really assess you, provide any sort of connections and support specific to your needs. So, it isn't a one size fits all consultation. Our team really goes in depth with um, the areas that you need, that you are struggling in or even growing in. So it's a very one on one consultation and personal assessment that we will be providing to you. Okay, we have a question. Um, we apply for EIDL. How can we get a hold of someone who answers questions? Um, website doesn't provide any information. So I believe this question is from Bashir. Uh, Bashir, we will be getting in contact with you after. Um, we can provide you perhaps with some um, representatives that we know at EIDL. I know this is a resource that we typically uh, recommend to our, our small businesses that we work with. So we'll try to get in contact with someone to um, expedite that process for you. Will all the slides be available following? Absolutely, yes. So we will be emailing um, a follow-up email directing you to our website where we have a directory of past events. Um, so today's recording of the webinar will be up on the website as well as the slide deck. So you will definitely refer, you'll be able to refer back to the presentation. And if I could just jump in, we did see a message come through from our partner, Selena at LISC-LA. Um, so LISC-LA is definitely a wonderful resource as well. And our partners with Together for LA. So she put in the link there as well. So we definitely, as all partners, want to support you to access all of the resources that are available. So please take a look at that as well. Um, we will also list our partners on our website as well. So in case you don't catch that, and I saw a request around the video and the PowerPoint. So we'll definitely share that and we'll post it to our website. So stay tuned to that. We will also be doing a uh, release a upgrade to the site. So if you click on it today, it may look different in the next couple of days, but it'll have all the same great content and hopefully easier for you to search through and access the resources as well. Yes, thank you so much, Jessica. Um, we have a question from Jill. Will the grants be specific to zip codes for women owned businesses? Now, the question is, are the grants zip code specific or industry specific? Will Lyndon or Bob like to touch on that? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Angela. Yeah, I will uh, say that um, it, they're not specific to, uh, to an industry or to a particular zip code. 
the the main thing is that a woman-owned business uh, or my uh, qualifying as a minority business. Okay, so you would qualify under under that. Um, and again, uh, maybe to answer another question as well, um, there, as mentioned earlier, um, you know, we're still this is still a, still a very fluid situation, and we continue to see more uh, grants opening. In fact, the uh, state is going to um, there's still the small uh, business relief grant uh, where the state is going to um, offer some new grants, I believe up to 25,000, doesn't matter where you're at in Los Angeles County. The thing is that if you have been impacted and your revenues are down in, in, uh, in 2020 or 2021, compared to the same quarters in 2019, pre-COVID, there is an opportunity to get grants. So again, you will find information on that on our website. And again, always fill out that form, uh, like my colleagues have suggested, and we will get somebody to call you back and, and research a little more in depth to your specific question. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. And to add to that, um, in specific to Jill's question, um, I have seen a variety of grants that become available uh, zip code wide or region wide. For example, there was one specific to businesses located in the San Fernando Valley. So that is also available. Um, sometimes it's more general, LA County, small businesses, specifically for nonprofit organizations. But I have also seen grants that are specific to, for example, restaurants or um, small personal care shops like nail salons and hair salons. We just shared one for um, museum and venue operators. So it does get specific um, at certain times. And so I would encourage you to look into grants that are specific to your area, your zip code, or specific to women-owned if that's what you're interested in. We have a question for Layla. Um, can you explain what services each incubator is providing? Um, <laughs> for each incubator. Um, so if I can go back to the slide, well, let me try to do it from memory. So for instance, we have, um, so the city of LA kind of provides funding for several incubators. So we have, for instance, CLA, um, they operate several different um, mar farmers markets and they provide support for food related businesses that, that want to, you know, increase sales, even if it's not there. I think before when they first launched it, they, they were only providing to the, the farmer market um, the vendors that were in their farmer markets. However, now they have also um, expanded to also accept other uh, food vendors. Um, Sabio provides an incubator for people that were formerly incarcerated that are looking to start a business. Um, another incubator is Lacey. Um, Lacey does, not only do they do a program just on clean tech, but uh, they also do, and, and different founders, they have a founders program, but they also do another one just for uh, businesses that are starting off. It doesn't even matter, or I don't know, you know, I have to double check if it's starting off or um, current businesses, but I, I do believe they provide um, support in just uh, small business. They provide resources, they connect it to mentors, et cetera. Um, and I don't know which, I'm sure I'm missing another other incubators, but um, there's several ones. I'm sorry, <laughs> not having that. Thank you, Layla, and no worries. Um, and once again, we will be sharing the slide deck with everyone after, so you will get a detailed breakdown of all of the incubators that Layla presented today. But thank you, Layla. Um, we have two more questions specific to grants once again. Um, Derek was wondering, if there are any upcoming grants for open business versus shuttered businesses or loan programs like the California Rebuilding um, Loan Fund. And Derek wanted to know if there are any available grants for social media and marketing support. So for both Derek, so Derek and Derek, once again, we are informed of grants as they come up. Grants typically have a very tight application schedule and window. Um, so I encourage everyone to just consistently take a look at the website. Anytime there's a new grant or loan opportunity that is sent our way, we will quickly put that up on the website. We'll share information about the grant, eligibility, application process, as well as deadlines. And once again, it's a very quick window. So um, you will need to apply to that as soon as we do post it. But please check back. 
Um, as of right now, all of the grants and loans that are, are, are available and accepting applications are on the website, but that will be either removed or new ones will be um, added to replace. I could also just add, um, generally speaking, as our state budget gets finalized and approved um, and the federal funds also start flowing through our cities and our county, um, there will be additional funds that will come out and made available. And so I do, um, at least from our intelligence gathering and speaking with some of the stakeholders, we do anticipate additional loan funds coming, grants that'll come down. I know the city of LA, our county is working on additional resources. So I would say definitely stay tuned um, to that. We do our best as soon as we know, even if it's not out to anticipate, the release and get that information out on our website. Um, so to Angela's point, definitely check back, uh, but it is ongoing. And, and I know our state in particular has invested in our small businesses and a lot of the funds dedicated to that. So we anticipate over the next few weeks and especially over the next few months, um, we'll hear more and more information coming down. So we do anticipate there'll be additional resources and funds that will come soon. Thank you, Jessica. And thank you for everyone um, that submitted their questions. Once again, there will be an opportunity to connect with our business assistance team as well. So if anyone didn't get a chance to put their questions in, um, please don't worry. We will get in contact with you to have a deeper conversation um, about your questions and further needs. Next, I'd like to move into some next steps on how to stay in touch with us. Um, I have dropped in our LA EDC business intake form in the chat box. So go ahead and um, take note of that link or go ahead and visit it after this call. Um, so this is our general business intake form where we will gather your contact information as well as some information about your needs, your business type, any of the, the challenges that you are experiencing. And that form is passed on to our business assistance team who will further contact you to schedule a one-on-one -on -one confidential and complimentary assessment. So please take advantage of that form and we look forward to receiving it. Like Jessica mentioned at the top of the meeting, we are hosting and launching our Together for LA webinar series. This morning is the first of the webinar series will, where we will continuously inform small business of, businesses of any new programs, um, grants, loan opportunities. We'll have speakers from across the community like uh, Layla this morning. So visit our website for schedule and registration as those are scheduled. Lastly, as we launch our webinar series, um, I would like to launch a poll for our attendees this morning. Um, please share what you are interested in learning about so that we're able to better curate and customize our upcoming webinars to your needs. So I'll go ahead and launch our poll. It will pop up on your screen. So go ahead and use any of the bubbles that apply to you that you'd like to learn about. You can select more than one. And this will be an opportunity for us to learn about what the community is in need of as we reopen. LA County as businesses reopen, what resources you need to continue doing business, to stay resilient um, as we recover. So we look forward to your responses. And some general topics um, that we are offering and we are skilled and knowledgeable about um, would be, of course, access to capital and financing, upcoming grant and loan opportunities that we're seeing a lot of businesses are interested in for funding, um, workforce assistance, you know, retaining your workforce, hiring, training, development, mentoring programs. I know that there are a lot of accelerator programs that are coming up. Any opportunities to network with other businesses is always um, something that I come across. I know that businesses love uh, B2B networking, permitting, site selection, relocation, business incentive programs. 
and so on. So I'll give it another few seconds before we end polling. And I'll actually go ahead and leave it up for just another moment. And with that said, we just want to thank you once again for your time this morning. Thank you for joining us to learn about LADC, to learn about the City of LA's programs and how we can better connect with you to assist you. So thank you, everyone. We wish you all the best as you recover and stay resilient. And once again, we will be in contact with you after the webinar for further assistance and any further questions that you may have. I'll go ahead and end the poll. Thank you so much for everyone's insights. And with that said, have a wonderful rest of the week. And thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.